Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, another Sephora opened in Sydney at the Macquarie Centre and Messi Down Under and I decided we needed to go. I, of course, vlogged the whole affair, so if you want to see that, I'm going to put it up in a couple of days, so don't forget to subscribe so you can check that out. But for now, I'm just going to go through what I got in my little haul. I believe that they had things at the Macquarie Centre that are not at the Pitt Street Mall store yet. For example, they had the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, the new ones. I didn't buy any because I tried to restrain myself and be good, but they had like all the new colours and I know one of the girls said they didn't have those at the Pitt Street Mall store yet. They also had Pixie, which is a brand that is not at the Pitt Street Mall store at all. Um, they had like the new Marc Jacobs foundation, which I don't think is at Pitt Street yet. And that's all I know about. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got. The first thing I'm wearing on my lips right now, and it's another one of the Bite Beauty High Pigment Lip, lip Pencils. Uh, this one is in the colour Corvina, and it's just this really nice, like, bright coral pink shade. I just thought that this would be really nice for spring. Oh, it's dropped. I thought this would be a really nice colour for spring. I was actually looking through all my lip colours today and I was like, what can I wear for spring? And I couldn't really find that much stuff. So I decided to get one of these and I love them and I know I'll get heaps and heaps of use out of these. The pigmentation is just crazy and they stay on your lips for ages and they don't dry them out and I just love them. Here's a swatch of it as well as my lip swatch. So super happy with this purchase. I love the Bite Beauty pencils. Amazing! My next item is a win and also a fail. So, um, some of you may know that I've been loving the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. So I was like, oh, mine's drying out, I'm going to get a new one. So I did, and then I just took a photo of her Instagram, and I realised I got Lights Camera Splashes, which is the waterproof version. And I don't love waterproof mascara. But I do love this formula, and I have got a couple of weddings and events like that coming up where I'll probably cry. So I do need a water so I do need a waterproof mascara, so it's not that big of a fail. But I definitely recommend the just like normal version of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's amazing balls. Next, I have another repurchase, and it's just the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color dark brown. Mine is almost gone, and I had to get another one. It's by far the best brow product that I've ever used in my life. And it's a little bit, I guess, on the pricey side, but if it makes your brows look good every day, like, that's worth it. That's so worth it. I think this one's $32. I bought one, um, like, maybe a month ago. It was in my last haul from Eye of Horus. And it's nice, like, the colour's good and stuff, but it just, it's not as precise. It won't make the end of my brow, like, sharp and... I like to have a sharp brow. Also from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I've been wanting to try this for ages. And it is the Tinted Brow Gel, and I got mine in Brunette. I'm hoping that this is the right colour for me. You know when you go into a store and you just get like overwhelmed by all the things, and then you don't know what to buy, and then you impulse buy things. I was really, really trying not to impulse buy today, so... I'm hoping this is a good colour, but the, like, the brow whiz that I use used to be called brunette and now it's called dark brown, so I got brunette. I didn't want to get, like, black or something. That would be, like, pretty crazy. And I love the Anastasia brow gel, um, the, like, clear one, so I'm hoping this is good too. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm sure it's amazing because so many of her things are amazing. Also from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I got a pencil sharpener which is pretty weird, um, but I've been using this little like crappy pencil sharpener to sharpen my lip pencils and it's just kind of been ruining them. So I didn't want to use this, that anymore and then I saw this and I was like, yes, all right, it's Anastasia, it's going to be good quality. It's got like a big hole for like jumbo pencils and stuff and then it's got a little hole for little things, lip pencils <laughs> and eyeliners. So I'm sure it's going to be amazing and it wasn't that expensive. I think this was maybe like $10, maybe even less. But I think $10. One more thing from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And when I saw this, I was so excited. Because when they released it on the website, I really, really wanted to buy it. It's an eyeshadow palette. And their eyeshadow palettes are like $29 or $30 US on the website. But then shipping from 
like the Anastasia website to Australia is $17.95. So that makes the palettes like, what, $47.95 US dollars. And the dollar at the moment is crap. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I have to get it. I think it was $50. And it is the Anastasia Shadow Con Shadow Couture World Tour Palette. It is beautiful. This is what it looks like inside the palette. It's got 12 shades. Um, the brush just fell out. But if you watch a lot of YouTube, you've probably seen this before. One of the shades that I'm really, really excited for is Pink Champagne, which is this one here. It just looks incredible. And I haven't touched any of them yet. I'm waiting until I filmed before... I touch any. So let's do a little swatch. Let's do a swatch of pink champagne. Oh, yes, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Alright, that is what it looks like. Look at that. Oh my god. That was just one swatch as well. Like, no going back and forth. Nothing. Oh, alright, what else should I do? Mm, let's do this blue one, Azure. That looks really, really pretty. Could do like an amazing blue smoky eye with that. Yeah. It's pretty, it's not as pretty as pink champagne, I'll admit, but it's very nice. Let's also do, ooh, I really like it. this one down here. It's kind of like silvery green. It's called Chic, or is it Chic? Hmm, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, this one maybe needs like a double swatch. But, oh, look at that, look at that like glitteriness. Yes, I'm super excited for this. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial or something with this whole situation right here. This one was a bit of a surprise to me. I picked up a nude sticks. I just got one pencil because I'm trying to be good. Uh, but this is one of the concealer pencils and it's the concealer pencil in light one crayon corrector. And when I swatched it in the store, it looked super super bright so I thought this would be really nice for highlighting because I don't know if I've told you guys but I've given up concealer uh, because it just makes my under eyes look yuck so I don't use it anymore but look at this pencil it's pretty much white but my skin is super pale so I'm okay with that and oh there is it swat there there is it swatched there it is swatched and they just blend out like oh, so so freaking nicely. Oops, sorry, I'm not meaning to give you the finger there. They blend out so beautifully and just like go into your skin and I'm loving it. And so many people have been using nude sticks lately and I've never had one, so obviously had to get on the bandwagon. The very last thing that I got I've been umming and ahhing about for ages um, and it is the Color Effects Custom Color Drops. Now, I wanted these a long time ago and I went into Sephora and I tried them and the lightest colour, which is what I got, N10, is too light for me to use as a foundation. But I've recently discovered that most foundations, the lightest colour is too dark for me. So I figured if I get custom cover drops that are too light and I have my foundations that are too dark, I can mix them together and we'll have the perfect combination. It looks like this. It's a little, it's actually thicker than I than I expected. Oh, I dropped some on my jeans. Wah. But I'm very, very excited for that product. It's going to be awesome. So that is everything that I got from the Macquarie Centre Sephora opening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, of course, and I'll see you next time. Bye.